school. Uh, really, it is a fantastic thing uh, that getting all support from the school, that is also always difficult because I've seen a lot of schools uh, in the government sector, uh, they, they don't take care, you know, they don't take care, but here it is not like that. Here, the school authority is very serious and they are uh, very keen to have such a type of facilities for the students. Now for the students, I want to tell you something about this project. This project, you know, why we are using solar energy, why we are using rainwater harvesting, because we have a lot of coal, we have a lot of gas in Tripura, and from which we can generate electricity and we can give it to you. But we are not just adopting that path. We are not going through gas-based electricity, the electricity, then uh, pump water with electricity and uh, uh, take water from that uh, uh, storage tank. Not like that. We are not built. Because why you know? Because our mother earth, where we are all staying, is becoming sick every day. Sick every day. How this, she is becoming sick? With the emission, with the smoke coming out from the vehicle, from the power plant uh, at Rokia, at uh, other places of Tripura, there are a lot of power plants, gas, gas run power plants. They burn the gas and a lot of, you know, greenhouse gases we call carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, sulfur dioxide, these are all methane, these are all greenhouse gases, which are really making our world warmer. And we are feeling hot. Every summer we are feeling hot. And gradually glacier is melting. And entire climate of our world is going to change. You know, unless we take action from now, Unless we avoid this type of coal or oil or gas, you know, to generate electricity, then we will keep a very, very dangerous situation for our future generation who are sitting in front of me. You know, we have to keep a livable world for them. So how we can do that? We have to save Mother Earth. We have to save Mother Earth. Mother Earth is crying. She is telling so many people, you are polluting me like anything. You are cutting trees. You are emitting always emission, autos, scooters, bus, car. If you look at back of that, you will find smoke is coming out. Smoke is coming out and that smoke is poisonous. And that is, that is due, to, uh, due to that, you know, Mother Earth is crying. She is telling, don't spoil, don't spoil my atmosphere. Don't spoil my environment. Try to keep the environment green and really livable and clean. So that is the reason. Gradually, the whole world, you know, whole world, it's a big thing. Seven billion people. So whole world, all the world people, for the future generation, like the children sitting in front of me, to keep for them a livable world, green world, and clean world, we are all switching. We are all just going towards a clean energy source. And we are trying to tap in for our day-to-day -day activities, for our industry, for our agriculture. Everywhere we are trying to go for solar energy. We are trying to adapt solar energy, wind energy, and rainwater harvesting, all these things, you will not find any smoke. If you tap solar energy through a solar panel, you will see the solar panel on your rooftop. In that, it, you have seen the auto, all the children? Auto scooter, have you seen? Yes. And have you looked at the back? When it runs? What happens? Smoke? Comes out? Yes. Huh? So is it good for the students or for the uh, people? Is it good? No. no. What is wrong? It is polluting the mother earth. So we have to stop it. So that is the reason if you get rain and if you collect the rain water, 
and if you utilize the rain water for say gardening for cleaning for 